For over 70 years, the Rotary Club of Bainbridge Island has been exemplifying the Rotary motto, Service Above Self. Our club provides service not only to our local community, but to the international community as well. How is this accomplished? Let's start at the beginning. The club was founded in 1947, um, a group of business people, it was all men at that time, uh, focused primarily in the Linwood Center area. Um, it was sponsored by the Seattle Rotary Club. It started off with, um, I think, 18 members or so, the charter members in 1947. One of the fundraisers they did for some time in the 1950s, they, they had a wild game dinner. They invited the community. Um, it was a fairly dress-up affair in the sense of suits and ties and so on, inviting the whole family. One of the projects that they had in the 1940s, for several years, Rotary operated the recreation center at Fort Ward. It had a bowling alley there. The Rotary field was a, a big project in the 1950s. Past club members had even greater aspirations. There was concern that Bainbridge Island did not have a public library. To help with the construction costs, the Rotary Club held an auction, and that auction and rummage sale continues annually to this day. The first auction generated $5,000, and it was just, a, you know, probably a relatively small event, and it took years and years for that event to grow to what it is today. Everything we sell is donated, and there are hundreds of thousands of things that are for sale at the Rotary Auction, and they range in size from thimbles to automobiles and large boats, and everything in between. The Rotary Auction simply would not occur without the volunteers, and they volunteer year after year after year. It's not unusual at all for us to have in the room at an auction people that have been at the auction working on it for 30 or 40 or even 50 years. It's, it's an incredible commitment by the community. This is a community event in its purest form. I've said this before, I really believe that being auction chair is the best job you can have in Rotary. We can see why the auction has become a Bainbridge Island iconic event and one of the most highly anticipated events on Bainbridge each summer. But if the raised funds are not used for club operations, where does the money go? The club has put the money to use for many significant projects around our local community. Well, I totally agree with the concept of attempting to retain uh, a large amount of money for a major project. I've seen how successful that can be at something like the Waypoint. We have a list of about six $100,000 projects, including the ball fields and this library. When the library was a gleam in somebody's eye, uh, they decided, the uh, Rotary decided to help out and purchase the land. And that was the impetus for the first auction that they had, which was more of a swap meet. The uh, Rotarians met and sold things to each other. And then uh, years later, uh, the original building was expanded and most recently has been upgraded uh, to a better meeting room uh, for community meetings and audiovisual work and Rotary Uni Committee has been involved in each of those steps in a major way. I think the poster project for the Uni Committee, which fits our definition perfectly, is the Waypoint. It was thought up by a Rotarian. It was uh, supported by designers and builders, again, due to the Rotarians' uh, involvement. We actually helped do some of the work, and I think it's a wonderful addition to the community. I think the Rotary Club of Bainbridge Island has a very, very bright future. In addition to funding significant projects, proceeds from the Rotary Auction also help support other local nonprofit organizations serving Bainbridge Island and Greater North Kitsap County. The Community Grants Committee uh, is what we would categorize as a small grants committee. We give grants up to $15,000. This year we will be giving out 37 grants to uh, wonderful nonprofit organizations on the island. A lot of our, our grants, particularly to the smaller nonprofits, 
uh, deal with technology upgrades. Uh, these, these are small outfits, they don't have large budgets, but they need decent office equipment, computers and printers and so forth. Barn is, is an incredible nonprofit. I, I, I'm not going to even begin to list the number of crafts and so forth that this organization serves, but they have come a long way. Yeah, we, we have given them grants, uh, let's see, four out of the last five years. We, we bought them a 3D printer, which uh, actually I did the research that year, and that uh, I learned more about a 3D printer than I even knew. <laughs> and they always thank the Rotary Club of Bainbridge Island. These community grants mean that the citizens of Bainbridge Island can be served by the work of many organizations, not just the Rotary Club. In addition to providing material items, support for our youth is a high priority of the club. This support is accomplished in a number of ways, including scholarships, an international youth exchange, a student of the month program, and supporting the activities of Bainbridge Youth Services. Well, I think Rotary's always been focused on youth. That's been one of our major um, objectives is to help out island youth. And uh, through our club, we've got our scholarship program where we're awarding around $30,000 a year to graduating high school seniors, both from Bainbridge High School and from Eagle Harbor. Um, and those are done for, um, usually based on community service. It's not all about academics. And they're for kids that are uh, going to regular four-year colleges and also kids that are attending technical schools. Uh, this this park right here, Rotary Park, is probably the reason I joined the club. Um, this was my exposure to Rotary when I was a kid. By uh, the 2000s, this was kind of a rundown spot. Uh, the bathrooms didn't work well. Um, the fields were uh, not draining properly. Working with the Parks Department, working with Little League Baseball, uh, we were able to put a plan together for about a $600,000 renovation. And we knew that we wanted to have a playground element in it. And it just happened. Uh, it was just the serendipity that we were introduced to the Marshall family that was uh, in the process of playing in a park for their son that had passed away. And uh, that's how Owens Playground came to be. The design of this playground is for kids of all abilities. So if you look around here at the different elements, it's, um, you know, it's friendly for, for every kid. Our club has done a really good job of making sure that uh, we, we fund projects that are going to benefit the most people. Uh, and uh, we put our focus here on the island, but we also have international projects. The youth services support, grants, and the many projects we have described benefit citizens on Bainbridge Island and in North Kitsap County. But the Rotary Club of Bainbridge Island also supports humanitarian projects in other countries. In about uh, 1998, our club set aside a little bit of money every year in order to do an international project. We didn't have one in mind, but we thought it would be a good idea. And then we learned about an area in Uganda that needed some help with literacy. So we put together a little project, maybe $800 total on some booklets for a school. When we got there, we discovered a school that had no source of clean water. And so I came back and talked our club into the $6,000 necessary for a borehole for that community. When I went back the following year to dedicate that borehole, I learned there were 80 other villages that also had the same problem. But then I learned about Rotary Grants and little by little we not only constructed the 80 boreholes and 80 individual villages but expanded that to 191 villages in northeastern Uganda. WCS is an amazing part of Rotary and that we are able to do so much. It's interesting that the Rotary Club of Bainbridge Island has contributed about a little over a million dollars to our Rotary Foundation. Well, many of the hospitals in Central America are poorly equipped and so a team of Bainbridge Island Rotarians along with other Rotarians have gone to Central America and helped them uh, acquire the types of medical equipment that will make their jobs much easier. Definitely there are a lot of needs there. There are great needs throughout the world.
I got into Rotary because, uh, partly it's because it's a service organization. We're always going to be involved in making this a better place to live. We have people working in so many different areas, which is what a Rotary Club should be. I think just to be remembered as a good, active, involved Rotarian is what my legacy hopefully will be. For me, it's the essence of service about self. And I can't think of a better way to give back. It's the reason why I'm a Rotarian. The Rotary Club of Bainbridge Island has a rich history of service above self to our local community and to the global community as well. Our ability to support the projects and activities we have described is a tribute to the support provided by our Bainbridge Island community to this Rotary Club and to our annual auction and rummage sale. For that, we say a heartfelt thank you. We look forward to continuing our work together. <laughs>